This might be a big one. He got some weight. Hopefully it's a big brook trout. It's something big. I've never had anything that big yet. Oh, monster. Pickle. Oh, it's a pickle. Big Look pickle. at the size of that thing. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, what the hell? I never caught one of those out of here. That is a giant pickerel. Let's measure that thing. 26. Holy cow. That's a giant pickerel. All right, we're going we're gonna to keep this and uh, cook it. We're going to dispatch this fish just like we did with the, uh, the splake. A lot of people leave these right on the ice, but uh, we eat them. They actually taste pretty good. All right, guys, so we're going to want to start working this pickerel up and we're gonna do that uh, boneless fillet technique like I said and uh, this isn't gonna be the best place to describe exactly how you do it but we're gonna try our best to uh, walk you through a little bit and what we're gonna do is start right behind the head we're gonna go uh, straight back to the back fin because pickerel here are one of the most underrated fish you know they get a bad rap but uh, they're an amazing fish to eat and what he's doing now as you can see he started right behind the head and he's uh, going right down to that back fin. And that's gonna be boneless filet number one. Here, check that out. That's a nice boneless filet right there. Nice white flaky meat, no bones in it. Let's just do this here. I said that one was hard to do. So now we're gonna get this side flank here. We're gonna start right, the ribs should stop right about here. We're gonna start here and we're gonna side filet that back section off. And that'll be the second boneless filet. Again, this fish was uh, dispatched immediately after we caught it. Alright, so there's filet number two. This one we're gonna chill the filet. Maybe. It's out of here. Frozen. All right, so there's a, a snowy number two filet. And the same thing on the other side. Now, this next one's gonna be really hard to show because it's so snowy. But there's there's two sets of ribs on a pike or a pickerel. This one's a pickerel. Um, you gotta try to stay on the outside of the first set of ribs. And you should be able to get um, a side filet there. This side fillet is a lot harder than the uh, the other ones, but you can get a nice fillet if you take your time and go along that uh, rib cage. You don't get quite as much meat out of the side flank. Yeah, we finally figured out how to do it. But check that out. That's all boneless. That's a, that's the back strap. I bet you that right there is really good. Yeah. And that's the, uh, the tail yeah. flank. Yeah. All boneless. All right. So our fillets are uh, done and ready to go so we're gonna uh, cook them up in a couple hours and we'll probably just let them uh, hang out there in the snow and we're gonna cook them in that uh, same fish basket we used on that last catch and cook all right so we're getting ready to go cook this pickerel we're gonna be getting out of here pretty soon so we're gonna go uh, get a fire going on shore and we're gonna cook this pickerel up I think we'll have a fire right here on the edge of the shoreline we're not gonna have it in the woods like we did on the last one. I think what we'll do is just build a fire right here. This is a small one. So we're not gonna need as big of a fire as we did on the last catch and cook because we uh, filleted that fish out. So we're gonna gather some uh, some wood and we'll have the fire right here. So we're gonna grab some uh, wood off this tree here. Pine works great for cooking, starting fires. Really easy to work with. Couple more armfuls and we should be golden. That 
may be enough to get the fire going, but we're gonna grab maybe another arm load. We should have enough to uh, cook that pickerel. There should be plenty of wood. start the fire off with a little piece of uh, fire starter just get the process going a little bit what I'm gonna do is just build a little bit of a base for my kindling to sit on just so it's not sitting right on the snow Start with the small stuff and we'll work our way up. Yeah, we may need another round world. We got a pretty good base going. Gonna let that fire uh, get going a little better. All right, so we've got the uh, boneless fillets we had earlier. Give you a quick shot of them. Right, so here's our boneless fillets. That's a back strap, uh, tail, tail, and a flank. Uh, the other flank. Um, didn't come out so great, so we just left that one on the fish. But we're gonna keep the uh, skin on the back strap and keep the skin on that one flank. And these are uh, two completely filleted um, tail flanks. But I think this fire is going good enough that we can uh, get that pickerel on. And I'm just gonna flatten this down just a little, give us a little better of a cooking surface. Trying to find a part of the fire that doesn't have quite as much heat. See how that looks, yeah. We're gonna keep that kind of off the main part of the fire. This fish is gonna cook pretty fast. I gotta make a quick adjustment to this back strap. Kind of slid around on the other one there. I gotta be careful of these uh, actual filleted ones because them ones will burn super fast. And what I'm doing is just kind of monitoring this fish really carefully. I get a little more heat. And unfortunately, Pickerel and pike, they get a bad rap you know, up here in Maine. But these are a delicious fish. I mean, nice white flaky meat as you can see. You actually get quite a bit of meat per fish. I don't think I'm gonna build the fire up anymore. I think I'm just gonna uh, kind of cook it on slow heat. Where well, this is open meat, I don't wanna overcook it. So I'll just move some of this wood around instead of actually putting new, new pieces on. Nice clean fillet knife. All right, we're gonna try one of the. Uh, we're gonna try one of the tail flanks. I think that's gonna be done. I'm gonna try one of these right here. That is so good. Pickerel and pike are one of the most underrated fish up here in Maine. That. That meat is fantastic. Almost tastes kind of like a haddock. So these smaller ones are done. I'm just gonna let these two bigger ones cook for a couple minutes. 
But I'm going to set these right here on the edge so they stay warm, but not actually cook. And I tried, I, and I tried a little piece earlier, and it was fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Nice white flaky meat. Reminds me of haddock. Zero fishy taste at all. No bones with that boneless fillet method. That is some fantastic fish right there. A little smoky flavor like you'd expect cooking over a fire, but it's fantastic. It's amazing there's no fish flavor at all. It's just as mild as you can get. Tree branches make fantastic utensils. Oh. We're gonna dig into this back strap here. Nice big chunk of meat. All right, back strap, here we go. That's good. Little tiny bone. Got some bones on it. A couple little bones in the back strap. Just little tiny chunks of them. But that back strap is fantastic. Nice and flaky. No wild, fishy taste. Again, like I said in the last catch and cook with that splake, these fish baskets are uh, invaluable. I love cooking on these. I cook on the grill all the time with these. Whenever I cook fish on the grill, I always use these fish baskets and they work great. But yeah, certainly the back strap's the best part of them fish. So if you guys have pickerel around you, or pike around you, be sure to try one. If, if you haven't tried one, try one. And I pretty much guarantee you'll be surprised how good it is. All right, the last little piece is this uh, this rib flank. Yeah, that rib flank's good too. I like that smoky flavor. Not fishy at all. Mm -hmm. There's zero fish taste to this uh, pickerel. That was a big pickerel too. Yeah, and it was a big one. That's about as mild as you can get. All right, here we go. That pickle is uh, pretty well cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of snow in here. Heat this up on the fire, what's left of it. And that'll help to clean up a little bit of the fish. All right guys, just filled in the fire. So that wraps up the pickle catch and cook. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again guys, if you have pickerel or pike around you, try one, they are fantastic. If you've never had one, try one, they're great. They're a nice white flaky meat. Um, no fishy taste at all, but we're going to uh, sign off for this one and we'll see you soon.